Gifted, this movie starts with Frank calling Mary to have breakfast before she attends her first day at school. Mary argues that she didn't want to go to school urging Frank to homeschool her but he tells her that he had already taught her all that he knew, she finally agrees, and Frank wishes her well as she boards the bus asking her to try and be like the other kids. When he goes back to his house his neighbor calls him following him to his house in worry that Mary was going to be taken away, she tells him to get her back before it was too late. Frank tells her that Mary needs more knowledge and to make friends, she promises to smother him while he is sleeping, and she gets out and she greets the cat. At school Mary starts getting bored as she thinks the lessons are boring. The teacher tells her to stand as she has some special questions for her as she seems brave. She asks her a series of questions including a complex multiplication one which the teacher had to confirm with the calculator, the teachers tell each other how they had extraordinary students. And the headmistress approaches asking to join the class, just after she greets the students Mary raises her hand and asks if she is the boss and tells her to call Frank and tell him to get her out of there. When Frank's was picking up Mary the teachers started discussing him and how he was always in the club on Fridays and Mary's class teacher ran on to catch up with him, she told him about how he had a genius kid and he told her that it was a technique she learned called the Trachtenberg which taught people the art of concentration and solving problems in the shortest time possible as he drove off. The teacher goes on the internet and googled just to confirm what Frank told her was the truth without finding anything fishy. While Frank was fixing the boat while ignoring Mary as she did a bad thing which was shouting at the principal, she then asks cutely if the boat needs a test drive and he tells her to get Fred the cat so that they could go for a ride. Mary plays at the beach and asks Frank if her mom would have wanted her to go to the school and Frank tells her that she would have wanted her to have friends. The next day Miss Stevenson was greeting the students all the others greeted her back but Mary don't as she was still mad about the accessions that were unveiled the previous day. Mary then shared with the class how awesome her cat Fred was even though she had one eye, she was the most incredible and smart cat. The teacher then gave them an examination telling them not to be messy and showing how they got to the answer before she could even finish talking Mary was finished with hers and the teacher gave her another advanced paper full of problems but he was able to solve them mathematically. That evening the teacher continues with her research on the kid finding out that her mother was a mathematical genius who committed suicide leaving Mary with Frank. She goes to the club to approach Frank and ask about Mary, Frank starts explaining how her sister called and appeared on a certain night saying that she wanted to talk but as he was on the verge of getting laid that day he said to her that he would talk when he got back but when he got home he found Diane on the floor overdosed with pills. The next day as the kids were to present their project Mary looked at his friend's project in admiration and got mad when one of them tripped the little one, she ended up hitting his nose and breaking it. Frank is called upon by the principal to discuss the matter. The principal threatens to expel the kid but Frank isn't worried, the principal offers an opportunity to give Mary a higher education in a special school offering a free scholarship but Frank gives it a hard pass and defends Mary as he stands up for the little kid although he did it the wrong way. The next day Mary apologizes to the class asking them not to be afraid of him and praises the project that was ruined and they all clap for the boy. When they get home that evening Mary finds her grandmother at the door bombarding her with gifts which include a MacBook with many books in it. She gets out of there as fast as she can as she has an allergy to cats, she drives off as she speaks badly of the place. The next day Frank meets up with her mother who tells him that he was playing Russian roulette with his skin as he wasn't using any sunscreen. She starts to complain that the environment the child was living in and the school she was attending was substandard. She intends to take Mary and raise her to her full potential but Frank argues that his sister doesn't want her to have Mary as she would bury her in tutors and loan her to a shark tank to talk numbers. She tells him that her sister was as weak as his father and as he was that's why she wasn't able to finish her theory. She leaves paying for Frank's back of beer. At home. While he is fixing the engine he takes Mary who is busy doing maths and while they are out playing she starts asking whether there is God Frank tells her that he didn't know and nobody knew what he tells her he had his own opinion and wouldn't want to spoil hers, he tells her not to worry as people end up together at the end. The next day they went to court as the maternal grandmother was claiming custody. Frank lawyer argues that he took the kid under his wing after her sister left her the kid, he also argues that Frank's home was okay and the court decides to visit and the court is adjourned. Frank Lauer tells him to get a drink, and relax. He leaves the kid with the neighbor Roberta who loved the kid and is angry at Frank as she felt the kid was going to be taken away. At the club, 
as Frank was drinking Mary's teacher bumped into him and they started drinking playing a game in which you were to take a shot whenever you wanted to ask a question and she asked him what his greatest fear was and he answered that it was ruining Mary's life. They start getting fond of each other and sleep together. In the morning Barney Mary's teacher bumps into Mary when he runs to grab his CD and cheekily greets her. She drives off with a taxi and Frank gets back in the house and starts asking Mary why he broke the rules she wasn't supposed to use Roberta's key. She gets mad and storms to her room. Frank follows her and asks for her forgiveness and she asks him if he meant that he didn't have a life because of her but Frank talks her out of it giving her an example of how she told him that she wished he was dead and but mean it. As Roberta is lecturing him on his decision making he reads an email that says Mary had to visit her grandmother for two days. She shows her the pictures and is wowed when she discovers that both her grandmother and her mother were very fond of mathematics and solving equations. She asked how her life was and gets bored when she discovered no more math and her grandmother takes her to bed. On the other side Frank and Barney was having a great time. The professor tells one of the students to write a mathematical problem on the board to test Mary. As they got in the building her grandmother showed her the wall of seven great millennium problems and only one was proven, she told her that her mother was very close to proving one. Mary wishes to have her picture up on the wall sometime. She tried to solve the equation but she wasn't able to. While her grandmother was so angry dragging her and telling her she wasn't angry at her but at the professor, she told him that there wasn't much to dissect as the problem was written wrongly. She takes her back and she corrects the question solving the problem. The professor asks why she did say the question was wrong and she says that Frank told her not to correct old people as it was rude and nobody liked a smart ass. Her grandmother returns her home and hugs Frank's, she refuses to get in because she has a cat allergy. Mary tells Frank that she liked Everline her grandmother as she looked like her mom and she had a piano but says she didn't want to live with her as she was commanding. The kid speaks to the therapist as the court ordered. She tells her that she had one friend who was Roberta, she continues to explain her life and how she watches UFC with Frank every Saturday imitating the grunt sounds. And even exercising on Frank. She tells the lady that Frank is a good person if they get to know him. At at court they bring in Mr. Poehler who was the biological father who offered custody to Everline. Frank's lawyer questions him if he ever saw Mary before which he hasn't and he asks why not he says when he heard of Diane the baby was already gone. The lawyer asks him to google her name and tells him not to forget the middle name which he was not aware of. He gets a paper on google that talks of Mary with her picture on it. The lawyer tells the court the obvious that the man has never been a genuine guardian of the child and the nomination of the custody would remain null. When they got out of court Franks talked to her mother about his stepdad who was having a midlife crisis at the age of 70 and was enjoying his miserable life. He tells her to get on the ranch with her husband and she leaves telling him that they were at odds and her desire wasn't to hurt him. At home Mary cries as Frank already told her that her father was in court, she wonders why he didn't follow him back home, and they try calming her down with no success. He tells her to stand up as they were going somewhere. They get to a hospital not telling them what they were doing there, he keeps them there until the first kid gets born and there is happiness. She asks who came out and told everyone that it was a girl at her birthday and Frank tells her that he was the one. She insisted that they stay to see the next one. At the court the lawyer asked Everline how often she took her daughter Diane to see any game. He asked what color was her dress and she answered that she didn't go to school. He asks who was Paul and she answers that she is a boy who lives in the neighborhood. She argues that Diane was too young to know love and the boy kidnapped Diane which wasn't right. Paul took Diane out with her acknowledgement, he asked how Diane felt as she tried for the very first time to commit suicide, she added that Diane had one of the greatest minds and later thanked her as he drove away the boy. The lawyer questioned Frank's way of living from where he worked and asked whether Diane ever visited the place he was in and asked if Diane would have wanted her kid to be under a health cover that he didn't have. The lawyer tells him that he moved to harm her mother and that Mary was only a pawn in her game. Franks explains that Diane wanted her kid to have a normal life and have friends and to be happy, the lawyer tells him that the results of an angry kid were fatal, and when he tried to say that Mary was not an angry kid he asks whether Mary was suspended for breaking a kid's nose at school and he was also arrested for fighting the previous day. At night the lawyer visits Frank telling him that Everline had an offer and Mary was to be put in a foster home an hour from Frank's home and attend a great school on her 12th birthday she would decide where she wanted to live. The lawyer tells him that he liked the deal and both the team thought they were going to lose, 
the lawyer tells him that the judge was an old school one and the judge loved Everline's lifestyle and if they tossed a coin the judge would side with the money. He visits the family who shows him around the house which will be Mary's new home, he asks if they were going to be okay with the cat and they agree. When they get out of court the mother tells him that they were in a compromise but the good thing is that the kid was going to have a good school and a good family. Mary cries as Frank promises that he isn't going to leave her he tells her that in a couple of years, she can go to court and file in order to stay with him, and he leaves with a very heavy heart. Roberta cries not believing what has happened. At night Frank fixes the boat as he is stressed out, he talks to Mary's teacher about how he went way over his head by keeping the kid and not taking her to child services and every day she did an extraordinary thing that made him keep her as she was becoming entertaining even though he was financially incapable and that it was not for the kid's interest. The next day when he visits Mary the guy tells him that Mary is having a meltdown and doesn't want to see him, he asks for 5 minutes but the guy refuses saying that they are going to have a bigger problem if they break the trust. Franks angrily gives him the presents and goes back home where he sits sadly with Roberta. While Mary's teacher was at the bookstore she saw a picture of Frey the cat on the notice board as a missing cat and called Frank to no success but sent him the picture, he rushed to get him and he is informed that it was his last day, he gets him just before his execution. When he asks who brought in the cat they tell him it was a guy claiming to have allergy issues and he immediately realizes that Everline was involved. They get to the foster parents and they tell him that Everline is in the guest house Frank approaches her together with Roberta, Mary and Frank runs out leaving a book on the table. He gets Mary who was so angry as Frank left her breaking his promise, they hug and later come back, she is also happy to see Roberta. She asked what the book was and he explained that it was a complete proof of the theory from Diane. S he asks why Diane didn't publish it yet it was a millennial problem, Frank tells her that the book was to be published postmortem on her mother's death. Frank explains that she was the best woman for the job and leaves the book with her, she lets them leave with Mary as she makes a phone in tears when she sees how all the papers are filled with tears, this is a sign of Diane's suffering, when the MIT mathematics picks up she requests to speak to the boss. Later Mary is in a lecture hall where he learns things that were advanced to her level. Frank asked how school was and she said it was not like the old one. He drops her at a playground where she plays with the other kids of her age. Kindly like share and subscribe for more movie recaps.